Hello everybody and welcome back to the North Carolinian channel. Today we'll be tackling the subject of no need for a leap of faith. So if you're interested in what that might mean uh, for your faith journey with God, uh, stick around. Welcome back everybody to the North Carolinian channel. I'm your host NC. Simple faith or belief in God is a requirement for a lifestyle of trusting in him through Christ and his Holy Spirit, not a leap of faith. Scripture supports this by saying, without faith, it's impossible to please God because anyone who comes to him must believe that he exists and that he is a rewarder of those who earnestly seek him. That's Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6. The amount of faith controls one's mountains or activity within the issues of life. But honesty about everything, especially your faith level before God, seems to go a long way also. In Mark chapter 9, we read of an encounter where a father brings his son first to the disciples for healing, then to Jesus because the disciples could not impart the healing required. The son had an impure spirit within him that made him deaf and mute since childhood and would often toss him to the ground in seizures. Interestingly, Matthew chapter 17 verses 14 through 20 records this same event, but with different highlights. Matthew observed this story with the lesson being mainly about the disciples' lack of faith. In fact, Jesus mentions lack of faith early on in the passage when he refers to the entire unbelieving and perverse generation then proceeds to speak to the disciples concerning the size of their faith. Meanwhile, over in Mark chapter 9, verses 14 through 29, the encounter deals briefly with the disciples' inability to impart healing to the boy, but then moves quickly to the view of the father and his struggle with his measure of belief. So, Lack of belief is addressed in both accounts, but I find it interesting that in this rendering, Christ only acted at the rushing of an oncoming crowd. Quote, when Jesus saw a crowd running to the scene, he rebuked the impure spirit. You deaf and mute spirit, I command you, come out of him and never enter him again. Unquote. Would Jesus have healed the boy if the crowd had not rushed the scene? The father's request for help in unbelief does not seem like the trigger or compulsion for Christ's healing. In, in between verses 24 and 25 of this passage, I get the impression that there might have been a lesson or a, an additional teaching that Jesus would have administered but did not because of the oncoming crowd. In any case, Christ healed the boy, explained the healing to the disciples, and then promptly left the area. So, what does it mean to believe? The original word used many times in the New Testament for believe was pistuyo, meaning to entrust, commit, have faith in. Jesus entered a generation that was lacking in belief in a huge way. As mentioned before, he even told the disciples their lack of faith did not even measure up to the analogy of having and using one of the smallest, if not the smallest, seeds known to humans, the mustard seed. 
The root word of pistuyo is pistis, P-I-S-T-I-S, which means one under persuasion and or moral conviction. Belief comes with proofs. Paul said a few times in Romans, I am convinced. If you desire the halo, most of the time you got to experience the hardship. But God does not hold the title faithful and true for no reason. He submits his many wonders, aids, convincings, persuasions, and proofs that you and I can believe in him and his loving care. Belief with God and in God is not blind. Therefore, there is no need for a leap of faith. Hey, ladies and gents, thanks for stopping by and uh, seeing my presentation on uh, no need for a leap of faith. As you can see, all we need is just the, the simple faith in uh, Jesus Christ and his sacrifice for us. I hope it, in, it, it blessed you. Uh, if it did, please drop me a like and or subscribe. Um, I need to get that across <laughs> to you. And please uh, spread the word about my channel. Um, uh, spreading of the word uh, by word of mouth and by texting is, is the way to go. And I sure would appreciate, appreciate your help in that manner. Y'all have a blessed day, a blessed week, a blessed month, blessed year. And I'll see you next time. Later.